Oh, I got my hat on because I, I had to go to the bathroom. And my hair was in my face. <laughs> so this is my little baby. This is my little baby. You know my little baby, right? right? She wants to go see the puppies. Oh, it's a beautiful sunny day. Can you see the sunshine? It's getting hot in here, actually. Oh, beautiful sunny day today. Oh, I don't need that on. It's hot. Oof. So... I might get out, go stretch my legs, stretch her legs, go for a walk in the sun. Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh, I know what she wants. Oh. Oh. <coughs> That's what she wants. That's what she wants. <coughs> anyway, it was probably something you did not know, and I'm going to tell you. So, when I first met Baby, she was... Uh, Eight and a half, well, not when I first met her, when I first acquired baby, she was eight and a half weeks old. And I never knew what to call her. It took me, oh, oh I think I tried to think about it, what, to, what a good name for her was for about a month. But anyway, so when I first got her, I got her from this lady, and this lady had, an, had another older dog, and her other older dog was named Giggles. So when I first acquired Baby, I thought, oh, she's a Shih Tzu, so let's call her Shits. Because then my neighbor was there, and they were always hanging out together, so it was Shits and Giggles. <laughs> it was kind of cute for about 10 minutes. I was actually the first one to, to dislike it. <laughs> anyway, so it was kind of cute for a while, you know, there's Shits and Giggles, Shits and Giggles. It's kind of funny, ha, 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 big deal. But anyway, I just, it just... I don't know, I didn't like it, it didn't sit right, so I just kept waking up for about a month. I kept waking up in the morning and going, well, like thinking, uh, you know, what's your name, right? And I was searching online for all these different names, you know, different languages, different names, come up with something really cool. And it was almost a month that I was doing that, and so, but every morning I would wake up and I'd go, hi, little baby, how are you doing, my little baby? Oh, you're my little tiny baby, right? And then finally, one day after about a month, I went, your name is Baby, and that's it. But here's the other thing. This is the part that I'm trying to get to. So she became Baby, and that was good. It was perfect name. Everyone loves it. I love it. It suits her. It's fabulous. But way back at that time, I actually started calling her Angel uh, because when I woke up, and I felt so much joy and, and relief and everything for having her with me. She was like, I called her my little saving angel. She, she was my little angel that came and saved me. So she's just my little angel. And I was, I started calling her angel, but I don't know, something, I don't know, just, I don't know why it didn't stick. I don't know why, but anyway, I kept waking up and I was, every time I woke up, I'd go, Oh, there's my little baby. Oh, my little gorgeous little baby. <laughs> you hear your name, don't you? And, uh, yeah, and then finally I just said, your name's Baby, right? But, ever since then, she's always been my baby little angel. Because I've always called her, I still call her today. I say, you're my, my little angel, baby. You're my little angel. Because she came and saved my life. She's an angel. So, she's still my angel, so I don't want that to be complicated with this little angel. I don't want that to be complicated with this little angel, do we? You know? We don't want to be complicated. <laughs> It'll be baby and angel, but baby's still my angel, so that's gonna, <laughs> that's gonna be confusing when I call them. <laughs> Anyway, I just thought you'd find that interesting that Baby actually originally was Angel. Well, she was actually Shits first, then she became Angel, and then she became Baby. But then she became Baby Angel, my Baby Angel. So I just thought you'd find that interesting since uh, this other little white girl is called Angel. So, uh, 
I just thought I'd bring that to your attention. <laughs> I thought you might find that interesting. Right, Beauty? Right? Yeah. You love your puppies, don't you? Uh, they lose it to you. So I'm going to get up again. I don't know, get myself motivated and everything like that. And uh, we're going to take off, I think, sometime today and get out in the sun and have a little stroll. I want to, <coughs> excuse me, I want to check on my, uh, a lot of my um, wild um, herbs and stuff. Like, I want to check on my stinging nettle for one. That's, uh, that should be fairly abundant right now. So I want to sting, check on my stinging nettle and the plantain and all the other stuff out there. Dandelions won't even be ready yet at all. I've actually got my own dandelion seeds. I grow buckets of dandelion seeds out here. And I save the dandelion root because it's a way better substitute for coffee than uh, coffee. <laughs> so yeah, dandelion root and plantain root and some other roots. You can grind them all up, dry them, grind them. And make, uh, you can make uh, tea or coffee, actually. And you can throw chicory in too. Chicory root. And... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go check, uh, see what kind of stuff is growing out there. It's getting that time of year, and a lot of stuff should be popping up, a lot of really healthy stuff, so we'll go do that. And I'm going to stop boring you now, so. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get up. Ciao for now. Okay, 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 okay. We're ready to take off for a while, go out for a stretch of legs and that. But here's the thing. This is the final word on Chrome and Emmy. The final word and this is exactly how it went down okay I saw the very first time that Chrome met Emmy I saw it and I saw it on his face and I said to my friend in the interior who doesn't like me mention his name so I'll mention his channel I get by anyway I said to him I said Chrome is in love with Emmy and he says you're crazy I said, did you see his face? Look at his face. The very moment he met her, look at his face. He's in love with Emmy. And he says, you're crazy. Quit smoking crack, you idiot. And I said, fine, fine, fine. Okay, maybe I am crazy. Maybe I'm seeing things. I don't know. So anyway, I just left it at that. And then, as time goes on, a lot of people, lots and lots and lots of people, were questioning Chrome on his own channel about dating Emmy and he kept saying on three different videos he said no I'm not dating an Emmy nothing's going on we're not dating you know we're both still single he said it on his own channels so then we get down the road and there's a few other friends of mine that are uh, that have their own channels that I've met and we've talked about this and uh, they've told me that They've asked him as well about Emmy, and he said, no, no, nothing's going on, nothing's going on. And then, not that long ago, if you'll remember, I met Chrome personally, and I was ribbing him politely about Emmy and saying, I, everyone thinks you're dating Emmy, man. Uh, I didn't ask him, I just said, everyone thinks you're dating Emmy, Emmy and that, and he goes, no, 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 nothing's going on, I'm not dating Emmy, no, we're just single, blah, 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 just like that. That's how it went down, okay? That's exactly how it went down. So, when all of a sudden, boom, I'm in love with Emmy, Emmy's in love with me. Boom, I just made the comment that, look, I already told you that way back a year ago, that Chrome was in love with Emmy. I was the only one that saw it, and I made a comment about it that I saw it, and everyone kept denying it, including Chrome. Chrome was even denying it to himself. And I understand that because, you know, like when you've been a single bachelor for a long time and you meet someone, you don't want to believe that you're in love with someone. You know, you go, oh, no, 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 I, these feelings are weird. You know, I don't want, I don't want to feel them. So you deny it to yourself. And I understand that totally. And that's exactly what happened. Okay. And that's how it all went down. So this is the last we're going to talk about Chrome and Emmy on my channel. So I want you to quit shooting the flipping messenger okay so i was right all along i saw it on his face the very first day he met emmy i saw it on his face i'm a bit of a psychologist so i'm sorry if i saw that and nobody else saw it and everyone called me crazy okay so the truth is there it did happen i saw it and i was only pointing out that it was being denied 
for a very long time and that's all I said so anyway I'm going outside so you guys have a great day ciao for now I'm assuming you can hear that. Robins are very, very excited today. There's a whole bunch of them and they're all making a huge noise. According to the robins, spring is here now. This is a very good indication of what the weather is going to be. stuff and this is a big water. Big water. So you can see I'm wearing a glove this time. I've showed you where I've, I don't wear gloves usually because I kind of find the uh, ah, the uh, feeling and effects kind of funky in a way sometimes. But I'm just not into it today so I'd rather just get on with it, get a whole bunch of this. And not have us excruciatingly itchy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep chopping a bunch of this stuff away here like this. Like you're saying, like that, there we go. There we go, and then we're gonna take all that home. So I'm gonna go around and collect a huge bag of that for you. And uh, I'll just give you a sort of a musical interlude in the moment, okay? Ciao for now.
So as you can see here, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful warm sunny day. It's really actually warm out here. And normally I'd be wearing pretty much just a t-shirt and uh, I'd be just absolutely fine. It's that warm out. It's And I'm not kidding you, but here's the deal here. I'll show you. <laughs> okay, so I'm wearing two shirts, a scarf, and a fleece line jacket. And I've had it all actually bundled up. I just opened it to show you, but that's what I'm doing there. <laughs> so I just thought I'd show you that. So yeah, I'm all quite bundled up here. I'm still feeling a little, you know, run down and that from everything. So I'm feeling the chill a little bit. So <clears throat> I got myself all bundled up with my scarf and everything on a beautiful, beautiful warm afternoon. So I'm just picking some more here. Getting a bit more out of here. And this is ba basically where Sandor would uh, call me a cupcake. <laughs> Yeah, he'd call me a cupcake, yeah. If he saw me like this, yeah. Actually, he'd probably call me, he'd call me Mary. Now, what? Mary, marry someone. He'd call me marry someone, yeah. Yeah, oh well, yeah. He'd probably call me Sheila. That's what he'd do, call me Sheila. <laughs> or many other things. So anyway, I'm like I said, I'm just going to keep picking this stuff for you. And bagging it up and get a whole bunch of it for you. And uh, then we'll go home and I'll show you what I do with it, okay? Ciao for now. Well, it kind of turned out to pretty crappy, shitty day. We didn't get much of anything out there. Bullshit. <laughs> this planet is polluted with excellent, nutritious, free food. Check this out. Okay. <laughs> That was stuffed in there. This is loose, look. This was 20 minutes, 20 minutes. That's as much as three days food for me, three days. And then there's the tea I make with it all as well. So here's what I do. I'm gonna have to get right on this because we're time is running out. So what I do is I take these little fresh tops like that, that one's there. And then I just take all of them and I separate them all. And I take just the nice tops off there. Those all go in a separate pile there. That's one pile. Tops are another pile. These tops all go in a bag or something to dry out and become tea. That's what I do with that. And I have tea for a very long time. Sometimes I'll either keep these leaves or like that. Or I'll cut the just the tip off like that. But that's how I do it. I, I'm not sure if you can see that. But I cut them usually about there or there. It doesn't really matter. As long as it's nice and young and succulent that's one pile this is the other pile and I just keep doing this over and over and over again just like that and that's what I do so I'm gonna have a ton of tea dried and I keep the stems and everything just crush it up for tea it's all good all of it and I just keep doing that and this is gonna take me a while trust me but it's well worth it now I've mentioned in other videos before that I've uh, lived on nothing but duck eggs and stinging nettle twice a day for uh, up to two and a half months because it's available and then it then it's gone kind of thing and that's why I keep the tea around because that keeps me getting the stinging nettle in my body better or um, a lot longer and it's better for me than like coffee and stuff like that but anyway these all all these tops now all these tops here these fresh tops I can stuff them in a paper bag and put them in the fridge and they'll last me at least a week fresh. And I can just make a steamed stinging nettle every day for a week, twice a day for a week. And I've done it before and this is uh, what I do out there. And now I was looking for a lot of other things like plantain and watercress and oh, what else is out there? Oh, there's lots of things, ouch. But there wasn't much of anything out there right now um what i did find though this stuff is starting to really come up in abundance i've got a bunch of leaves all stuck in here this stuff here is starting to come up in abundance this is um <laughs> chickweed this is chickweed now i could take the roots have chickweed roots and make that into a coffee but i'd usually just pick this this is salad this is pure salad you know you just eat it like salad 
just like that. So that's that. Now, I didn't. I know I've seen some somewhere, but I couldn't find any miners' lettuce. Um, oh, there's a lot of things. Plantain and uh, dandelions aren't up yet. I've grown my own. I think I mentioned that. Anyway, um, I was looking for a lot of other stuff, but it's all just starting. And and I'll show you as we go down here. You can live off the planet, no problem. Um, maybe have some eggs in there, and uh, you know, some other uh, forms of protein, beans or whatever. And you know you can live really super healthy, super cheap, and uh, for a long, long time. And I'm not sure if I j actually just mentioned it or not, but you can live off nothing but stinging nettle, eat nothing but stinging nettle all your life, and live a long, healthy life. And I guarantee that. And you notice I'm not even concerned about my hands right here. I don't care. It's not a big deal, right? You know, it's uh, it'll go away. <laughs> it feels pretty funny though. <laughs> Anyway, we weren't out there very long. I, uh, I, uh, oh, and uh, the other thing I was looking for, I had a quick look. There was only a few little brown mushrooms, of nondescript mushrooms, and nobody cares about them. And uh, what I'm waiting for is the uh, meadow mushrooms and the fairy ring mushrooms. Another great source of protein and all sorts of nutrients. And I can't wait for those, but what we need is a really, really dry, warm sunny weather like it is right now keep it dry and or warm and uh, dry everything out and when, and then all of a sudden it got, it's got to rain for at least 12 or more hours like just heavy steady rain for a long period of time tons of rain and then the mushrooms will pop up and the more it rains the more mushrooms and so i've been looking for those and they're not up or not yet but these are all the things i'm collecting and i'll show you as we go there's a huge list and i can't I can't mention them all and I can't remember them all. See, I don't have my list. Now, another thing I want to mention, there's a guy on the island here and he's been doing this. His father and himself have been doing this all their lives and that's all they do. They got a channel out there. I'm going to drop the link somewhere, maybe even in my title, but uh, called the Herbal Jedi, the Herbal Jedi up island here. He's one, a guy that I'd really like to meet one day because he's right here somewhere and I haven't met him yet, but this is all he does. This is all they do, is uh, everything about living off the land and everything the land and the planet can give you. So I'm going to drop that in because it's going to take me forever to catch you up to speed on all these products where you can just go watch his chant, his videos. So <laughs> he's got, uh, I'll show you the one on stinging metal if I can find it. Anyway, I'm going to get on with this and get back to you later. So we'll talk to you soon. Ciao for now. Okay, so I've done that. I haven't still got a whole bag yet here. I'd be here all night, so I gotta show you what's going on first. A whole bunch of tea already. That's good for tea. And there'll be a lot more to come. So here, look at this big pile. This looks like a large pile. So I've got in here maybe a quarter cup of water. And you only steam it maybe one minute maximum, just enough to break it down. That's all you do. This is a lot there. Look, looks like a lot. And I'm just gonna stuff it in there. Uh, stuffing it all in there because like spinach it um, shrinks right it shrinks down kind of thing there, there, that's that. there we go and we'll let that steam up turn it up a bit steam up uh, and once it comes to a hard boil I'll just let it do it for maximum one minute just so it breaks it down and what happens if you dry the stuff or cook it in any way or do anything to it other than keeping it fresh look at the size of this sucker right? uh, other than keeping it fresh um, all the needles don't sting you anymore they just uh, the nettles I should say the nettles don't sting you anymore so um, the only time it actually stings you is when it's fresh and this is actually becoming limp now and being less um, you know stinging so that's how it works and this will be once you cook it it's all gone it's and it's nothing this is like spinach only it's uh it, it tastes different but than spinach but it's um way more healthy and uh you know it's got its own flavor but it's it's sort of like having this steamed spinach kind of thing anyway i'll show you how it goes after this ciao okay there we go so what i've done i steamed it like i said approximately about a minute there's not much water in there, so just don't make sure you make sure you don't burn it. So anyway, um, 
So I watched that and uh, once it was steamed for approximately one minute, and oh, and also as it's steaming up over that minute, I turn it twice, turn it over so it steams better all through and everything like that. And then I put the lid back on and I just flip it, put it on. Anyway, it steams right down. Look how much that was stuffed in there now. It's barely about half the pot right there now. So anyway, that's all hot in that. What I did, I poured off the juice, the water, whatever. And that's really super healthy. It's got a lot of nutrients in the in the water. So I poured it off. It's still pretty warm. But what I did, I want to reuse the water. Sometimes I just drink it. Um, it's like a tea. But what I did was I took this Mugi Miso, Mugi Miso. And I like Mugi Miso. Normally people use uh, Gen Mai Miso. Um, that's brown rice. I like Mugi Miso because it's the only one that has barley with it as well. And it's really super, it's a super food. Anyway, I took, uh, oh, uh, I guess I took maybe about that much mugi miso and I put it in the in the water mm, really good strong flavor and maybe about that much butter and also put that in the water there and uh, then I've got some uh, salt in there and some pepper in there and um, also you know how I like my garlic it's a what it's a food group anyway so I put some garlic into there as well, put it in the sauce, it, it'll uh, help, uh, you know, soften it and break it down even more a bit. Put that in there, mix that up, and that, see, see how steamy that still is? So that is get poured all over top of that. And like I said, mo most people use Genmai Miso, and be, this is a very strong flavor, and I just, I love it, it's an acquired taste, though. So. So I'll use Gen Mai if you don't want that one. And then I'll mix that all up, but I'll also use one of my favorite things. This is what makes it really is a roasted sesame oil. Roasted sesame oil. It's so freaking delicious. It's not funny. So I put, oops, <laughs> oops, oops, oops. That might have been a bit too much. I don't know. I might. So here, if it's not mixing well enough, what I'll do is I'll end up putting a little more butter on there just to get it more saucy so it gets all through there. But we'll see what happens now. The thing with this is now I have to get two forks and I have to blend this really, really well because just like spinach, it all packs down when you cook it. So I have to just kind of mix this all really well. And uh, if, like I said, to blend it all thoroughly and everything, and if I need any more sauce in a sense, I'll just add a tiny bit more butter just to spread things out better um, in, uh, you know, over the whole packet. So I will do that and I'll get right back to you. Right away, ciao for now. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah, so there you see, it's still steaming away. I think you can see that steaming, steaming, still really hot. So that's it. That's a look at how much it is, but that's super packed. That's a big bowl of stuff. You saw how, it, how much it was and how it went down, right? That's actually a lot of food there. So if I had a couple of duck eggs or I don't know, beans or mushrooms and stuff, or whatever with this, be super well balanced meal and I didn't add any more butter because uh you get more juice out of the out of the plant itself as as you put the sauce on and that so it's just absolutely perfect perfect so here we go here we go let's try this out <laughs> just joking this is freaking delicious absolutely delicious I think what I needed was a little more, um, a little more roasted sesame oil, I think, maybe, and possibly pepper. <laughs> but this is absolutely fabulous and delicious. I like this better than, way better than the Genmai salad in the Japanese restaurants, and they use spinach. And uh, I just find this way better, but I make it myself too, so <laughs> that's the thing. But the Genmai salad is really good. I've always loved it, really good, but this is better. And... It's way healthier than spinach, if you can believe that, too. It's a superfood, so... Mmm, 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 mmm. And that is so good for the intestines and everything. Everything inside, if you eat a lot of this... I'm going to start eating it twice a day, I think, again. Eat a lot of that and things improve. I, when I was eating nothing but duck eggs and this for two months, I felt really good. I felt energetic. I could get outside a lot more. 
and walk with baby a lot more and um, yeah it's uh, all about uh, a really good diet and the more natural you get the better so I'm gonna enjoy this I'll uh, uh, get back to you soon here ciao for now mm. Oh, baby <laughs> anyway just to clarify I kept saying back there uh, genmai salad that genmai is the miso what I meant to say is gomae salad that's a Japanese spinach cold salad and it's really delicious it's very good I love it I absolutely love it but I like the way I make mine with the stinking dental and I like it hot I prefer it hot it's uh, it's really nice anyway I just want to clear that up. It's Genmae, or wow, Gomae salad, Gomae salad, Gomae salad, <laughs> Gomae salad. Genmai is the miso. <laughs> so, did you get it yet? Let's do some puppy love now. Ciao for now. Right, 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 right